Are you after a Chromebook? Well, look no further because this one is impressive. Hello everyone and welcome back to TechSynth, the YouTube channel where technology is simplified. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new ASUS Chromebook C523. If you want to see more reviews like this on the channel, then make sure to like this video and subscribe. But with that being said, let's get into the video. So the ASUS Chromebook that I'm going to be talking about in today's video comes fitted with Intel's N3350 Celeron processor, 4GB of DDR4 RAM and 64GB of eMMC storage. So let's kick off this section of the video by talking first about the processor. So as you may or may not know, the Celeron processor within this laptop is one of Intel's entry level processors, which means, well, it can't do a great deal. But since it's an entry level processor, that's to be expected. But what can it do? Well, the Celeron is perfect for casual browsing of the web as well as running applications such as the ones that come with Microsoft Office. So in other words, it's a great processor for students and for work. The four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM provide reasonable performance and allow you to have a few internet tabs open at the same time, but may start to lag if you begin to open more than two or three applications at the same time. So try to keep the number of elements open to a minimum for the smoothest experience. The 64GB of eMMC storage are satisfactory, but most people would want more storage than that. And if that's the case, you either add an SD card into the SD card reader slot on the side of the laptop, or connect an external hard drive. I've linked some great external hard drives in the description of this video if you want to check them out. Now let's talk about the overall looks of this laptop. To be honest, I am very impressed with how this laptop looks, as well as many others that have reviewed this laptop. The build quality is great, the keyboard is well laid out and easy to type on. One improvement that can be seen on this Chromebook compared to older generations is that the bezel around the screen is a lot thinner. This improves the aesthetics and ultimately improves the viewing experience. The screen itself, however, does let the Chromebook down, which is referred to in the world of tech as 720p. This means it will be much more pixelated, but don't let this put you off entirely, because there is an option to upgrade the screen, which costs roughly £20 more. In my opinion, this is a no-brainer, and I would really recommend this upgrade. In terms of ports, the ASUS Chromebook comes with two USB-C ports on either side, which can be used both for charging and data transfer, which I think is pretty cool, because you don't have to worry about the wire having to reach a particular side of the laptop, so you can decide based on which port is closest. In addition to this, there are two USB ports on either side, but whether they're USB 2.0 or 3.0 is a complete mystery, because from what I could see whilst researching it, it doesn't actually say. Although apparently there is five USB 3.0 ports, which there is definitely not, so I think someone had a bit of a nightmare while entering the product information. There is also an SD card reader on the left side, which is definitely a nice feature. With regards to battery life, this Chromebook is fitted with two lithium ion cells, which extend the battery life to up to 10 hours. This is great and will also make this laptop perfect for a student that takes their laptop to school and someone that uses this as a work laptop. So, all things considered, what do I think about this laptop? Well, to be honest, I think it's awesome. It has great aesthetics and is a perfect budget laptop. I believe that this is going to be perfect for completing score assignments on and cloud computing, and with the ever-increasing demand to work from home, it definitely wouldn't be a bad idea to buy this laptop by any means. However, don't expect great performance. This laptop is intended to be used for casual computing like browsing the web and typing up Word documents, so if you're looking to use applications like editing software or play low load games then this laptop isn't for you. That's about it for this review but if you're interested in purchasing this laptop I've put a link to it in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you can find out what type of USB port this laptop has then make sure to let us know in the comments. But with that being said make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.